What's up folks and welcome back to the garage. Uh, today my goal is to weld all uh, the rust holes I know that exist in my Volvo 142. There should not be quite many, like four I think. Um, but before we go to weld project, I will show you what uh, else is going on here in my garage. I still have some issues. If you have watched my earlier uh, video about these carburetors, you know that I have a problem with the cylinder number four. It's not still running like it should. This is on on progress. <laughs> I just need have uh, I need some time to figure out. Uh, I have also uh, I I have already a plan what to do, but uh, I just have to find the time. <laughs> Kymco is working perfectly. Uh, my sons were driving last night um, very carefully, so now we know that it's it's uh, working like it should. I um, only I adjust the idle a little bit um, lower, but otherwise it works nice. Uh, the Saab, our historic rally car, is waiting for its turn. <laughs> I just have to call to uh, uh, this Finnish guy who is. Uh, tuning specialist and I have to book a time and uh, then drive this car on the trailer and uh, drive it to drive it to his shop and uh, let him to do his magic. It uh, runs uh, run nicely but uh, the torque is missing so it's uh, impossible to drive at the moment. But I hope we can figure out what's wrong with the Saab. The Chevy uh, is drivable uh, and it's waiting for its turn. Uh, as you can see, there's some corrosion damage. Um, there's a lot of corrosion damage in this Chevy, so I hope in this winter I can start to do this, uh, this welding project also. So it's waiting for its time. And my air compressor my friend is at the moment he's welding the the block and after we manage to do that I just have to order some some parts from Italy from company which I don't remember any anymore I have to google it again uh, but we had a small accident or, or the previous owner had a accident as you can see there's a piece missing from this piston and you can see the part of the rod is in in there still so <laughs> there's a small problem and this is the rod and the rest of the rod is somewhere somewhere here but I hope I can put this air compressor also back together that's my plan and uh, next thing is to start welding my 142 uh, Hey, by the way, I forgot my one project car. You can see the Bösso 205 GTI. It's there. Uh, I'm using it as a daily at the moment because the, uh, my wife's daily is uh, under repair. So <laughs> I'm using the, the Bösso as a daily. Uh, but I found only few holes this. Uh, if I would have a, some copper I could uh, push it from the other side and then it would be quite easy easy weld but I have to figure out that without a copper because I don't have any. <laughs> uh, then I found uh, small holes here. You can see the dark area. There's a very small holes I think one or two in this area and uh, then I found this one 
you can see my finger there there's a small hole and uh, the last one is here in the trunk as you can see I have weld this uh, spare tire case uh, a long very long time ago but I miss a spot you can see there there's a small small gap so I just have to fill that gap so after that I think I have welded all the rust holes I know a nice surprise my older son came here to help me his task is now to take this uh, front beam into parts so I hope we can clean this beam today and maybe even paint that's my that my wish but uh, you never know <laughs> now we have the special tool in use we are trying to get what do you call this steering knuckle Make, what steering knuckle steering we are trying to get the steering knuckle off we first we try to open this upper upper bolt we we got the nut off but it's uh, it's this is so tight place that our special tool doesn't fit there so we decided first to take this lower off helping hand managed to get the shock, shock absorbers off and now we have project going on here looking good and uh, my next ne my, and my next task is to try to weld this hole I try to clean it as good as possible I used my grinder and uh, drill this brush to clean it as good as possible you can see some dark metal there so this might be a small adventure to try to weld this but I will try we have a lot of going on here on the garage how was the test drive okay good uh, engine is working perfectly yes, <laughs> yes. very nice and uh, the front beam is uh, spreading here on the floor <laughs> so that's a that's a good thing I and I hope we can clean it and paint it today but that's that's the plan first welds and grinding done I think it's quite okay I just have to as you can see there's a light coming through from some places so I just have to feel it a little bit more and then grind grind a little bit then it would be or then then it will be a, a good enough now the first weld is done it's good enough for me <laughs> and it looks quite okay from this side too so next I can focus 
on on these holes and uh, that hole. I, th I think I, I might continue with that one. And uh, my son did a great job with this front beam. It's quite clean now. He used that drill. I remember I I sandblasted and uh, painted this like like 25 years ago, 20 years ago. <laughs> and uh, that's why it's in quite good condition. As you can see from the bottom, it's still even like uh, shining. So now I just uh, remove the grease and then we will p uh, repaint it today. Uh, I have all the parts here. As you can see, these parts are also in quite good condition. Uh, I noticed that I have made some tuning. <laughs> There's a one, uh, what do you call this, spiral missing. Uh, I have lowered this car and uh, I think I used my father's electric weld here, so I have been a tuner for my whole life. <laughs> well, but these parts are also in quite good condition. That's a good thing. It's much easier now than it was like 20 years ago when everything was full of rust. But. front beam is drying. I ran out of gas. <laughs> what a welder. I managed to do the first quite well and I first I thought I welded this well but uh, then I noticed that uh, there's a light coming through a uh, few play from few places and I tried to weld it again and then I realized that I should do a whole new piece in this area. So I will remove the metal from here and uh, make a new piece from a sheet metal. So that would be the idea. I think that that's that's wise thing to do because you can see that the metal is melting In the front of the welder so it's time to remove this rust piece and put some fresh metal back there. It's getting late and I'm getting a little bit tired and I ran out of gas so I think this is a good place to stop this time. We are getting there little by little but thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up and comments down below that would be great and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do it right away and also remember to press the bell. Thanks for watching and see you soon!